Hey everybody, Longmore Woodsdale here, and today we are going to be installing Windows Neptune, or as they call it, Microsoft Codename Neptune, build 5.5.5111.1. I'm not entirely sure why Microsoft made the build number so long and repetitive, but who cares? Anyways, so we're going to create a new VM, uh, select typical, and then click next, and then we're going to choose the ISO image gonna go here choose Neptune click next and then we're going to choose Windows 2000 professional click next again and we're going to name our VM then press enter stores a single file click next and click finish And then power on the machine. When booted, it will do a normal Windows 2000 text setup. As it boots, it'll say, Setup is inspecting your computer's hardware configuration. And then it will start loading files. Once it's finished, you'll see Starting Windows Neptune. Instead of Starting Windows 2000. But. When it gets to the actual setup, it's actually going to say Windows 2000 Professional. And you'll see that in a couple of seconds here. Alright, so it says Windows 2000 Professional Setup. And notice that it says, Setup Program has detected that you are about to install an evaluation version of Microsoft Windows 2000. Instead of, say, Microsoft Codename Neptune or just Neptune. So we're gonna press enter. Welcome to setup. Um, it says Windows 2000 again. So basically there aren't very many references to Neptune in the text portion of the setup until you get to the point where you press enter after that initial Windows 2000 um, installation screen where you can press enter and F3. Press C. F8, C again, enter, and then press enter. Then I'm going to format it as NTFS. You can format it as FAT if you'd like, it's not going to matter very much. And it's going to format really, really fast because it's a VM. And it's, then it's going to examine the disks, which takes like two seconds. And then it's going to copy files, which I'd say takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And again, the reason why it goes fast here, and it wouldn't on a physical machine, is because, number one, this VM has much better specs than a physical machine would. And number two, this is being run on a virtual hard disk on the local disk drive. And because it's being run on the local disk drive, it's going to copy files much, much faster. So it's going to initialize the Windows 2000 configuration. And it's going to reboot. And as you can see, it says Microsoft Neptune under construction. This is where you start to see the OS reference Neptune a little more. It says 1999, just like Windows 2000 for the copyright. And now it's going to boot into the GUI portion of the setup. It's going to show you this as it installs drivers and um, boots into the drivers for the installation and then boots into the setup. I've noticed how it has this comments thing. And if you click on it, um, it is functional, of course. So I could say comments comments button is not entirely in the right place because as you can see I had a little problem clicking on it see there's even comments for the comments it's really kind of funny almost nobody barely noticeable uh, 
And as you can see, it automatically decided to install devices. And completely skip the portion where it says, Welcome to Neptune. Which, I don't mind that so much, I guess, but... Okay, so it's finished installing drivers. Now it's telling me to select my locale and my keyboard layout, which is already selected for me because I am United States and English. So we're, I'm just going to click next and I will type my name. Next, and then I'm going to enter my product key. Okay, now that I'm finished entering my product key, I will enter my computer name. So, Neptune. 5111-VM. Then I'll press enter. And I will select my time zone. Click next. Now it's going to install network comp components. And then it's going to install the Neptune components such as programs, control panels, that kind of thing. And now it's going to install start menu items, register the components that it just installed, save the settings, and remove any temporary files that were used during the setup. Once it's finished with this, it will reboot into the operating system, and it's going to tell us to create a, a user account upon login. Okay, and if you don't set your BIOS date, this is going to happen. It'll say this is an evaluation copy of Neptune, verify that your computer's date and time settings are correct, um, which is something that I need to change right about now. So the date is going to be December 10th of 1999. This is one of the only Windows builds where you can wait until after the setup to set the date. Then we're going to, going to apply that, click OK. And we're going to reboot. And we're also going to change the date in the BIOS settings. So we're going to enter setup. Um, as you can see, it already says 12.10.99 um, because we set it that way in Neptune. So we're going to exit saving changes. And we're going to click yes. And now it's going to boot into the operating system. Okay, so as you can see, it prepared the network connections and it showed that a logon box telling you that it's preparing network connections, obviously. And now it is loading into the Neptune operating system, which on first boot, it kind of takes a little while. Okay, now it's logged on. And it's going to give this this pre-release utility, as it's called, that is going to have us enter our username. This is basically like Windows XP's out-of-box experience, or OOB. So, I'm just going to enter my actual name. And it's going to tell us to restart, which is something that XP's OOB does not do. So, we're going to do that. And we're going to let it reboot. Okay. Starting up and preparing network connections again. As you can see, it says Neptune under construction. There's the logon sound. And soon the desktop should pop right up. Okay, now we're on the desktop and now we can install drivers. So I'm going to attach the, the collection book driver pack. That contains drivers for VMware. Um, I'm not going to worry about the audio driver because we already have that, obviously. So we're, I'm going to select that and click OK. And let me make sure the drive is attached. And then we're going to go to my computer, TCB VMware, and we're going to take a look at these drivers before we install them. So it doesn't really matter what you pick, but it needs to be from this folder. Do not pick anything from this folder because that's obviously from for Windows 8. So to install this driver, we're going to go to Start, Settings, Control Panel, Add Remove Hardware, click Next, choose Add Troubleshooter Device, let it search for the device, 
and then we're going to choose video controller VGA compatible click next click finish and then now it's going to open the upgrade device driver wizard so we're going to click next choose search for a suitable driver and then click next and allow to search for the driver and as you can see it picked something that was not in that Windows 8 folder so we're going to click next and let it install the driver and as you can see by the color change it has installed the driver so we're going to restart make sure that just shut it down that didn't make much sense but and then we're going to boot back into the operating system as we boot you may notice another color change this color change has to do with the VGA driver before the VGA driver is installed it typically shows a green background because it detects that it is either missing or broken but after it's installed it shows a blue background what we saw before when we did install the driver before we rebooted was the middle point where it was still green and it had that gradient taskbar but it also had the VGA driver installed and it did not detect it on boot because of that so that's why it's changed and now we're going to click properties and we're going to pick a background and we're also going to go to settings 1920 by 1080 because that's the resolution my monitor is once you click yes click ok and there you have it Neptune is installed with VGA drivers and running at 1080p so thank you for watching this video um, if you like this video press the like button if you disliked it that button works too I guess uh, subscribe for more and we will see you in the next one take care